Hi, I want to talk a little bit about tracking the progress in your Microsoft project uh, schedule. So I've created this real simple example with three tasks, design, build, and test. And each of these tasks, I'm estimating that they're going to have a two-day duration. Now this is just an estimate. It's just a guess. And in real life, things may take longer or shorter. To create a snapshot of my planning phase, I can set something called a baseline. And I set that from the project tab and click on the set baseline and choose set baseline. And I want to create a baseline of the entire project. So I set this baseline for the entire project. And if I look under project information, we can see that the start date for the project is April 20th. The finish date is the 27th. The current date is self-explanatory, but then we have something called a status date. So you as a project manager, you may not be updating the status on your project every single day, but maybe like every Friday you're going to update the status of the project um, or every other Friday or something. So this status date you're going to mark as the day that you're entering in the information about your task and how far they are completed. So I'll put in the 22nd. Let's say I, I talk to all of my employees and on the 22nd I'm going to update the status as of that day. Um, so I'll hit OK now. So I'm going to show you the percent complete method of updating your progress. And that can be done from the task tab. Notice that there are all these percentages here. You can say the task is 25% complete, 50% complete, 75% complete. And notice what happens to the Gantt chart. There's this darker blue small bar that appears on my task bar. Um, but if I'm marking the progress as of um, the 22nd of April, then I want to mark that as 100% complete because that task should have been completed on the 21st. And if I'm on schedule, then I'll say it's 100% complete. I could also have marked it as on track. And that would be the same thing if it's on track and it only took two days and I'm updating the status as of the 22nd, um, then it's 100% complete. We go down to the build phase, and that may or may not be on track. Um, we can look at things in a different view called the tracking Gantt chart. If you click on the corner of your Gantt chart, or the entry table part, and choose tracking. So here, I can see my actual start date, my actual finish date, and the percent complete and your actual duration. Sometimes your actual duration is not the same as your estimate. So let's say that the build phase, we had estimated that we'd be able to start it right after the design phase and on the 22nd we'd be able to start, but let's say for whatever reason it didn't actually start until the 25th. So I will mark that 25th as the actual start date. So um, notice that the bar moved over and that's fine, but I lost my view of the baseline of my original estimate. So I can look at that baseline in comparison to how my project's doing by going to the Format tab and choosing Baseline. And I w there's more than one baseline that can be set, but I've only set one of them. So I'll select that baseline. My baseline will show up in gray under uh, the current progress of my project. All right, so good enough. So I can see I'm a bit behind schedule. Um, we could have also set, said that we were ahead of schedule in a way. So let's say I'm updating my progress again. So I'm going to go back into project information. And this time I want to update my progress as of, let's say it's the next Friday, the 29th. So now I want to update my build phase and I want to say that it is 100% done. So I'll say 100% done. I go down to the test phase. Let's say um, that we were able to start the test phase on the 27th and we got really um, lucky and we were able to finish that in one day. So we started on the 27th in the morning and we finished on the 27th in the evening. It only took us an actual duration of one day and so notice we've caught up a little bit and we were able to uh, make some progress and finish that task quicker and our whole project is actually finishing at the same date that we had guessed in our baseline. Another thing we might want to look at on this Gantt chart is the um, variance. So you can look at 
the variance by clicking in the upper left corner and choosing variance. And the variance is the, the difference between our um, start day and the actual start date, like our guess and the real start and our estimated finish versus the real finish. So we can see that that second task, build, it started a day late and it finished a day late. But our test phase, it started a day late, but then we finished right on track with our um, estimate. And this, these could be negative variances too, if we ended up starting something earlier than we had planned to.